Hi there, welcome to the Smart Posture Pro Plugin video tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how you can configure content orientation. Content orientation denotes the way to organize post content. Make sure that Smart Posture Pro Plugin is installed and activated into your site. You can directly click on Add New or you can click Manage Shows and then click Add New to create a new show and give it a title. Then go to the display options and navigate to the content orientation feature. You will find 6 different content orientation to organize the post content. First one is default. That means the post content will show below the post thumbnail. The left image means the post content will show at the right side of the post thumbnail. On the other hand, right image means the post content will show at the left side of the post thumbnail. Overlay means the post content will show over the post thumbnail. Card style will show the post content as a card. Select overlay box to display the post content over the post thumbnail as a box style. Now let's dive into the content orientation and show you a few examples. I am going to start with the default content orientation. Select it and click on the show preview to see how it looks. You can see the post contents are showing at the bottom of the post thumbnail. Second one is left image. Select it and update the preview to see the left content orientation in action. So you can see this is how it looks. But if I reduce the column value to 2 then it will look much better. The third one is right image. It's pretty much opposite to the left image content orientation. Select it and update the preview to see the post contents are showing at the left side of the post image. The fourth one is overlay. To display it properly you may need to configure the related field for the overlay content orientation. Before showing the overlay in the live preview, I would like to show you how the card style looks like in the live preview. After then, I will explain deeply about the overlay and overlay box content orientation. So select card and update the preview to see how it looks. It looks pretty much to the default one. Let's make it card style. So set a border for the post item and set inner padding 15 pixel on both left and right side. Now if I update the preview, you can see this is how the card style looks like. Ok, it looks much better than before. If you want, you can set a background color as well. So if I set the background color as this one and update the preview, you can see this is the final look of the card style. There are so many features to customize the show as you like. Let's go back to the overlay content orientation. As I said, to get a proper look, you need to configure the overlay related properties a bit. So configure content position, content visibility, overlay content type from here. Now if I update the preview, you can see the post contents are barely visible and the post contents are cut off as well. To fix this, you may need to hide a few contents and set the text color as white. Scroll down at the bottom of the page and navigate to the content field section. You can hide the content fields that you don't want to display in the post show. So I am going to hide the post content. And now if I update the preview, you can see the post contents are not showing anymore. Now go to the typography settings and set the text color as white. Now if I update the preview, you can see the text color is showing white, which is pretty nice. We need to change the read more color as well. So go to the display options again and navigate to the content field section, content section and set the read more color from here. So I am going to set the text color as white, text border color as white as well. So now if I update the preview, you can see this is how the overlay looks like. If the post contents get 15 pixel both left and right, then it will look much better. So let's do this. So set the content padding to left as 15 pixel and write 15 pixel as well. Now if I update the preview, you can see the better look of the overlay content position. You can set the overlay content visibility on hover, that means the post content will show only on hover. So select content visibility as on hover and you can select an animation type as well from several options. Now if I update the preview, you can see the contents are not showing but when I hover over the thumbnail, the contents are showing. The last one is the overlay box. Select it and update the preview to see how the overlay box looks like. So this is how the overlay box is showing in the live preview. So if you want to hide the border from the overlay box then hide it from here. And update the preview to see the best look of the overlay box. 
you can configure the overlay box as you like so that's all about the post content orientations now let's publish the show and go to a page where you want to display it insert the show using the smart post show pro gutenberg block select the show you have just created publish the page and view it so you can see this is how the post show looks like in the web pages i hope you have got a clear idea about the content orientation in the next video i will come up with another attractive feature of the plugin until then take care